It's obviously like really low cut to show the boobs that I don't have. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, it is like a summer clothes, going out, try on, haul kind of video. So it's not really a haul necessarily, but it's definitely a try on video. It's just like pieces of the other outfits and like ideas of what you could wear to the beach, going out, just on a nice day, on a gloomy day, if that's what you want to do. I'm a bit apprehensive about this video because I've not really done one before, but hopefully it won't go too disastrously. So I'm just going to be trying them on, talk about them, and then I think I've got it in a setup where you can see like at least to my knees, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you can see like most of it. So there's gonna be dresses, play suits, stuff to wear to the beach. So I'm gonna put a few bikini shots in there. Please don't demonetize me. Um, <laughs> just daily summery, vibey outfit. I don't know how many outfits it's gonna be. I don't know how long this video is gonna be until it's finished and I'm editing it. Let's get on with the video and let's go to the first outfit. So this is outfit number one so it's pretty simple really it's literally just a denim pinafore which i got from pretty little thing last year so i just feel like these are the kind of like dresses and fashion pieces that don't really go out of style you could literally wear this in like three years time well even if you can't wear this in three years time i probably still will be wearing this in three years time so i just think they're like super cute pieces like just a little denim dress and it's obviously got pockets because pockets are essential in clothing. These pinafores you can literally wear with anything. You can wear them with bandos or you can wear them with off the shoulder tops if you wanted. Whether they be long sleeved or short sleeved. But yeah so this top and my little red bando that I've got were both from ISO at first which is a UK brand but I'm pretty sure it ships worldwide but it's just got really cheap affordable clothes and they're actually not that bad quality as i said this is good quality my little red band is good quality and i wear them literally all the time and this is outfit number two just a little red slinky dress so i'm not sure if you can see it. i'll come up a bit closer but it's got some like cute little florally white flowers on it i actually got this last year so it's from primark and i don't know if any of you have heard of primark it's i think it's just based in the UK but it's just like this store which just sells absolutely everything and anything you could want for the cheapest of prices. Probably one of the most cited shops in the UK just because everyone just thinks it's cheap and tacky but if you actually get in there and you can actually find some good like nice things <laughs> which is a shock but you can do it. So I actually got this last year when I went for brunch with the girls I wore no, I actually did wear this. Georgia wore this. So my best friend actually wore this and I wore a jumpsuit instead. So she wore this and it's so nice. It's literally one of my favorite dresses and also one of the cheapest dresses I own. So it's a win-win situation really. And yeah, on to the next. This is just like a gingham, I think that's what it's called. Just let you see it closer up. So it's just like a little navy blue, bluey, white gingham i think i think that's what it's called design it's very very tight fitting it's a massive struggle to get on even over my shoulders i can't put it up because it doesn't it literally does not fit over my bum at all i've worn this quite a bit before i wore this where i went to australia's do so i'll insert a photo of that there and i'll insert the link here so make sure to check out the video. I don't even know where it's from because my best friend actually got it for me. Well, she didn't get it for me. She got it for herself, but it didn't fit. So she gave it to me. And here I am in it, wearing it, repping it. On to the next outfit. So up next, I've got this jumpsuit, which I got from Valley Girl when I was in Brisbane. So it's actually an Australian brand. I love it. I literally like love this jumpsuit. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yes. I forgot to do a button. So it's got cute little buttons up and down and it's like a white and maroony burgundy colour. I'm not entirely sure. It's yeah, super comfy. It's not got pockets, which I always forget. I always go to go like that and put my phone in and end up just doing the 
the slip and the slide, which is embarrassing. It's got a cute little tie belt, which just goes at the waist. And it's just really nice and flattering, you know? Cute little jumpsuit. On to the next outfit. So you know I said I had that yellow jumpsuit that I didn't know if it would look good on me? Well, this is it. And when I said it was bright yellow, I wasn't lying. So this is from, I want to say either Cotton On or Valley Girl, but I'm pretty sure, I'm 98% sure it's Cotton On. It's not as like skin tight and like revealing, like the top obviously is, but the bottoms, I don't know if you can see, it's like flaring. I actually really like it. I don't know why. I think it makes me look more tanned, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll find out when we redo the footage. Uh, yeah, this is my overly yellow, yellow jumpsuit. Let me know what you think of it, if I should actually wear it or if it should stay locked away in this wardrobe. Yeah, this is a cute little top. It's got like cactus like desert design on it. And I actually love it. So this was from either Zaffle or Romwee. I can't remember, I get them like confused. But it's that like Chinese like online shop that you can just pay like four dollars for something and it's just up in the air as to whether it's actually going to come at all or whether it's going to come out in good condition and everything i ordered from there actually like came out really nice so i've got this and a few of the bikinis like it's literally one of my favorite go-to top like i've obviously just got these blue paper bag shorts which are from cotton on which are one of my favorite like pieces of clothing to wear during the summer. I've worn them with so many different outfits, but they're just really like flattering because it's obviously like this cinches in your waist and then it's got the little tie up and they're not super short. short oh my God, I can't speak. They're not super short. Like I'm not sure if you can see like the height of them, but you can't, it's not, they're not like old Levi's which used to literally go like that. Like you, the whole bum is covered. And it's really flattering and I just love them. This is actually my go-to outfit with these shorts. This top's from Cotton On as well. It's just super cute, little strappy, little crop top. And I just love it. I just feel so summering like I'm on holiday. <laughs> but yeah, go-to outfit. And this is my next outfit. It's just this cute little, like, off the shoulder, bat wing, bado, whatever you want to call it, top. I like the fact it's got little florals on, so again it's got like blues and yellows and reds. And it's just super cute. This is like more like formal, so if you're going to go somewhere fancy or somewhere like sophisticated and nice, I'm not just going to go to the club. Unless you go to a nice club, in which case go for it, but the bars and clubs in town are definitely not this kind of Elegance, eleganza, extravaganza, eleganza, extravaganza. Once again, I don't know where this is from. This was a Chris, Christmas present, birthday present from Chris and Julie. So I don't know where it's from. So I've paired it with a denim skirt, which is just a denim skirt. Just got it from Topshop years and years and years and years and years ago. So I'm not sure if you can get it from there still, but you can probably get them anywhere else because denim skirts. Oh, again, one of those things that just don't go out of fashion. On to the next outfit. This is my last little outfit before we get into the bikinis. So it's literally just another white bandeau from I Saw It First. So it's like identical to the red one, it's just white. And then this skirt's actually from H&M, but I honestly don't remember how old this actual skirt is. I've had this skirt for as long as I remember. I'm pretty sure I had it throughout the whole of uni, so it's at least four years old. So this is my last little piece. Again, this is just something you could wear out to the beach or just to go wandering in. Definitely, definitely summer vibe. Onto my so this is bikini number uno. Just a little spotty number. Just a cute little bikini from Cotton On. This is one of my go-tos. I think it's just because it's white and white makes sure obviously look darker. Than you actually are. You can wear it high waisted, like I've got here. 
which is obviously super flattering or you can just wear it low rise. This is bikini option number two. So this is from Valley Girl, I think. So that's another Australian brand. I've already mentioned it before. I got this when I was in Brisbane and I wore it when we went to Stradbrook Island. And it's got this cute little detail in here. So it's a halter neck and obviously just opens up at the back. It's like a bright turquoise blue color. And this is honestly one of my favorite, favorite, favorite colors for me to wear. Cause I just think it makes me look so so tan. The fact that this colour just makes it pop and stands out even more. I just love it. This next one is high waisted, which is really, really flattering. I love, 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 love this bikini. It's probably not the best for sunbathing because obviously it's quite high waisted and you don't want a tan line that big. So you can roll it down. This is from Romwe or Zaffle? I can't remember. I got it when I got my other tops that I've got that I showed. But it's actually so, so good. So it comes with padded tops, which is obviously a small boobie's dream. It's really cute little design, like stripy design. I'm not sure if you can see the colours, but it's like a pinky colour, white, red, and then yellow. Pretty funky design. It also comes with two little straps if you want to like wear them over your shoulder. So this is the last one and the last penultimate one last but one of this whole little try on this is another bikini which i got from romwe or zaffle i'll link to it somewhere where i actually got them from but the labels obviously don't tell you anything anyway it's like a navy top i don't know the, like the material it's kind of like scoob material no like a wetsuit so it's kind of like that material it's obviously like really low cut to show the boobs that i don't have and then the little panties are a bit revealing but as i said i don't really mind that that is my last bikini and last but one outfit hello back to me again <laughs> back to the beginning but it's the end but i'm in the same outfit because i filmed this at the beginning whatever so this is the last outfit which i'll show you i've just got biker shorts on basic black biker shorts they're just so comfy with this heifer shirt that i got last week from a, one of the thrift stores in town um but yeah it's just like a rugby shirt blue and red striped and it was actually in the men's section but there's nothing wrong with, with wearing boys clothes 21st century guys come on i wear this quite a lot. I wore this on a night out last week um, with Soph. I'll insert a photo here. Um, but yeah, this is literally one of my favourite jumpers. So just some baggy shorts and a, just a basic rugby top, long sleeve top, whatever you want to call it. That's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it or if you don't just give it a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and keep up to date with all my videos. I don't think there's really a lot more for me to say. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.